The word humans comes from the word humic, which means soil. We need to realize that that soil is a part of us. The current production model is broken. It's not working. It's not sustainable. In regenerative agriculture, you have to be able to use the power of observation. You have to look at the landscape and see, what's this soil trying to tell me? What are the chances of a kid who grew up in town, not from a farm or ranch, going out, starting to farm, be put through four years of natural disasters, hail and drought, and then being able to come back from that and educate myself, how do soils really function? I went no-till, I started adding all these different cover crops, and I saw a real change in the health of our soil. We're losing topsoil at an alarming rate. We can mitigate that by using the five principles. We don't want to till the soil any more than we have to. Least amount of chemical disturbance means we got to cut back on the synthetics, whether it be fertilizer, pesticides, fungicides. All of those have negative impacts to the soil ecosystem. The residue from whether it be crops or leaves in a forest, it's the skin of the soil. If you leave soil bare, it's prone to wind erosion, water erosion, temperatures rise, evaporation increases. It's totally negative to a healthy functioning soil ecosystem. So that armor on the soil surface is the skin of the soil and it protects that soil. Where in nature do you find monocultures? Usually only where man put them. Yet look what we're doing in production agriculture today. We're seeding monoculture cash crops. We run only one species of livestock in our pastures. That all has a negative impact on the ecosystem. So we want to add diversity. In production agriculture today, there's monocultures that only grow for a very short period of time. They're only collecting so much sunlight, and then there's nothing left there to grow and to feed soil biology. So we need that living root as long as possible throughout the year. We've removed animals from much of the landscape. We've put them in these confined animal feeding operations and in our wisdom, we think that's healthy. Well, that's exactly the worst thing we could do. We need to get animals out onto the grasslands, but then we need to graze those grasslands in a way that will proliferate the health of rangelands. Regenerative agriculture has become my life. I've seen the difference it's made to my family and myself. I've seen the difference it's made to thousands of producers all over the world. Not only are they better off financially, but society is better off because they've improved the health of the grasslands, improved the health of the cropland, improved the health of the whole ecosystem. So it's extremely important.